Okay, today we're going to shoot something really easy. We're going to paint something that's really fun and it's going to be very cute. Today we're going to be creating a puppy. Now the puppy is a very s simple and easy peel off painting. The decal is rather large, but we're going to be painting on part of it and some of it. So this way you can get an idea of how to create something really cute, really fun, really quick. Let's just go over our equipment real fast. We have our paper towel. We have our spatula. We have our brush. I have water in a cup right off camera. I will peel off paint packets. And we also have our painting sheet, palette sheet. So what we're gonna do first is we're just gonna squeeze out some colors. We're gonna be painting and splashing some color around the background. Over the puppy, we're going to use our spatula to peel off our peel off. And then we're going to reveal what I hope to be a very cute, very simple, and very easy puppy. So let me just move some of these things over to the side. Open up our package, which has four colors in it. Or five, let me see. We have a little red, some turquoise, purple black, and some white. So let's open up the white first. And let's squeeze some of that right on our palette sheet. There. Let's take our brush. And now what we're gonna do first is we're just gonna paint inside our puppy first. We're just gonna cover all of the openings. So anything that you see that has an opening to reveal black, you're gonna take the brush and just very lightly and carefully splash some color around it, like so. Making sure we cover everything. Then we'll come back to this in a moment. See, real simple, really easy. Peel Off is a product that's designed especially for those who just want to be creative. Just want to push around a few colors, have some fun, and be creative. You can take from this, expand on it, and really create a broad amount of stuff. But for this project, I'm gonna show you how you can create a cute little dog or puppy. See how I'm just making sure I cover all of the open areas that are showing me black. See, that's step one. Now, step two is to simply go around and add some white all over the canvas. We're going to be adding some other colors directly to this in a moment. And I guess you could say, well, why not just paint the whole thing? Because by painting the inside first, you literally give that an opportunity to dry first. So when we come back, we'll have exactly what we want. So it may not make sense. But just follow the steps and you'll have some fun. Now remember, we're going to be painting over this so it doesn't really matter. We just want some coverage. We want to make sure we cover the edges. Put some color from end to end. See, we don't have to paint over all of the decal because this will be peeled off. We might even be adding a second coat, but we'll see. It's going to come down here. And just create some of this splash. I'm just going to the other side. Yeah, this is easy. This project is for anyone. So it makes a cute gift. It's also something cute just to have and hang up. Okay, let me just use my other hand so I can stay out of the camera shot. So you can see that I'm just splashing some color. So you can even move some of the color that's here and just move it around. Just trying to keep the canvas in one little area. See? Easy. One, two, three. Almost there. 
we're going to be splashing some color along this bottom again anyway so this just really doesn't matter so i'm just going to go just like that and while this paint is still setting up i'm going to take and squeeze out a little purple we're going to be using this purple twice it's going to come squeeze out a little purple keep the same brush i didn't clean it because i want this to be very light I just want to put some very, very light purple right along the top edge. See? So I even mixed it with the white, added some more because I want this to be very, very light. Very, very light. It's going to touch a little bit. Push this around. Touch a little bit more. Push this around. See, now I'm staying on the outside of the cat. That's why we have the peel-off decal has all these lines on it. So you can kind of get an idea of where you are, where everything is underneath. So I'm keeping my paint along the outside edge of the cat. I'm not going inside at all. You could. It'll just make for a different design, but I want it to look this way. So I'm staying out of the inner of the puppy. There. Take some white, mix a little bit of this here, and I'm going to introduce the next color. There, that's how light I want it. Now I'm going to squeeze open, squeeze out rather, a little turquoise, just a small amount. It's just to add some variation. This time I'm going to wipe the brush off, ring the bell, wipe it on the paper towel. See, I'm going to pick up a little turquoise, and I'm going to put this color towards the center here. I'm not going to come all the way down because I'm going to reintroduce some purple again. Just want a little splash on both sides. See how it's touching a little bit of that purple is fine. Just like that. There. That's actually good enough. I'm going to take my brush. Wipe it on a paper towel. And I'm just going to feather the edges a little bit so I can softly blend them right into the purple at the top. And let it phase out a little bit at the bottom. Again, touching near the top. Let it blend into the purple a little bit. Wipe some of this off. And blend it in the bottom. There. That's what I want. Now we're going to go back to the purple. And this time we're going to put a lot of purple. And we're going to go really slow because we want it to be dark. I'm going to touch it right at the edge of the bottom of that turquoise. I'm going to come down as far as I want to because, again, we're going to be cutting this off. But you see how different this purple is from this one? Right along the edge here, it's going to dance in some purple right along this edge. Let that just sit nice and dark. Maybe I go up along the edge there. there. Come down. And again, we're going to be cutting the bottom off, but I want to go as far as I can go. So when I cut it off with that last color, it'll definitely be purple. There. Now, let's just wipe this off. Go back and add a little bit more if you like. Now, at this point, what I strongly suggest you do is let this dry before you go to the next part, which is actually going to be the peel. But I want to see if there's a possibility that we need to add more color on top of the color that we just did. So, with that being said... Just go here. See, I did this over here, so let me just put some white back there. I'm just gonna go here. And I'm gonna just let it sit for a second, and then we'll continue in one moment. Okay, let's continue and take a little bit of this black. 
and even though we have some black there we just want to make a nice clean line so we're just going to squeeze out a little bit just enough to make a little line right underneath our puppies and through our puppy's feet so let's take some black on the brush and let's just say it's going to go across like this maybe we could just run this right along here say that the black is going to go right across here there you go see and i'm letting it mix in with the other colors so it's not like a dark dark black but it's good enough see like that yeah it's gonna do it like this that's where our puppy has some place to sit right up to there there you go that looks good right over his feet line doesn't have to be perfect but you do want him to be able to sit there you go that looks good and now what we're going to do is clean off our brush. Now this part is really easy, so don't be intimidated. We're going to put a little red right in here, but not end to end. So we're just going to take the paint, squeeze out a little bit of this red. You only have a tiny bit anyway. You could actually just open it and just stick the brush right in the bag. Because this is probably all we're going to need. This is a lot gonna use the edge of the brush and just come right here and do like this on one side right here stand on the lip and just do like that there that's it looks weird I know but now let's see what happens when we do the great reveal just gonna clean off the brush I'm gonna pick up our spatula Move our bag over here for a second. And you could use the bottom, the top, the edge. And all we're going to do is just peel off our image. So let's just go up here and find this spot right there. Let's just start there. It's going to dig in. Get some to come up. Then we're just going to very carefully and very slowly peel off our puppy. And look at what we have underneath. Oh, so adorable. See, and it's okay if some of the color got in there. That's fine. It just adds to the flavor. See? See that? Get all that up in one second. Let's just peel this up. There we go. And one more section that would be around his nose and his mouth. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of this. Let's go right in there. There you go. Get some of that up. Oh, look at that. And there's our cute little puppy dog. See? Told you. Fun, easy, and creative. And there we have our puppy. So I hope you had fun. And remember, put a like on our video if you liked it. Look at our videos on YouTube to see some of the other products that Peel Off has to offer. And Peel Off, which is a subsidiary of J. Robinson Art, we just happen to sell our packets through our company Peel Off. And we go visit you physically with J. Robinson Art. So again, I hope you had fun. If you have any questions, any comments, please put them on the uh, YouTube channel. Or just give us a call or email us at jrobinson at jrobinsonart.com, arobinson at arobinsonart.com, or peeloff.com. Thank you very much, and have a good day.